Hey guys, today I want to talk uh, quickly about this new tablet, uh, Google Nexus 7, which I just bought. Um, as you can see, of course, I have added some uh, protect screen protector, as always. And uh, yeah, let's start, start talking about this tablet. So I'm not gonna talk uh, very much about specifications because you can uh, look up for different kind of uh, uh, videos on YouTube. Just gonna say that it's quad core processor, NVIDIA Tegra 3, 1.2 gigahertz, 1 gigabyte of RAM, uh, 720p screen, 7 inches, uh, available in 16 or 32 gigabytes of storage. Uh, this one is uh, 16 gigabytes. Uh, there is 3G or Wi-Fi version, so uh, this is Wi-Fi only. And yeah, the battery is 4,325, uh, and can stand up to 10 hours or one solid uh, day of normal usage and maybe more if you are a normal user. And yeah, it's Nexus branding, so you will get the updates. Uh, one of the first out there, and uh, this model was made by Asus. Uh, and yeah, let's start talking quickly about it. So, in the front of the device, you can see 1.2 megapixel frontal camera. Unfortunately, no camera in the back, but I guess we don't need it because it will be like uh, people with tablets taking pictures look stupid, as, I, as we know. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess this camera is just, uh, just good for it. And uh, in this side, we have vol vol volume rocker, also on and off button, and lock and lock button. Uh, on the top of the device we have here a small microphone, also microphone is located, the second microphone is located here in the in this side, and uh, a docking port. And in the in this side we have uh, uh, the speakers. Uh, unfortunately the speakers are not so loud and uh, maybe we would want it uh, to a little bit louder than these, but I guess they they are pretty much okay. But uh, yeah, here here we have uh, in the bottom side of uh, the device uh, 3.5 millimeter millimeter headphone set jack, and um, here we have a micro USB port and syncing port, or charging port. I mean, uh, so about the device, uh, yeah, it comes, uh, it stands out for its price point, and uh, it sells in the uh, USA for. Two hundred dollars for a Wi-Fi version, sixteen gigabytes. It's two hundred dollars, and yeah, I uh, guess this tablet is pretty cool with quad-core processor and capabilities. Uh, so you can see, uh, I have here four point two point one version, but it means that it's a Jelly Bean, and you have this unique uh, unlock screen where you can fastly like navigate for a fast, uh, fastly navigate navigate from your uh, quick. Uh, uh, widgets which you have added and it's kind of cool uh, so let's start firstly uh, this tablet is the first tablet like that uh, comes with a uh, Google Chrome browser as default browser uh, internet browser and let's open it uh, what it means uh, it's basically the same uh, thing that you use on your PC if you are using Google Chrome so it's kinda cool and you can open uh, different kind of tabs as you can see uh, here I have loaded the Verge which is one of the uh, processor intensive uh, websites out there you can see just just very smooth and I'm, I'm very surprised because this is one of my first tablets out there with the quad-core processor I had this uh, sh <laughs> uh, this is very horrible with mm, Arnova G2 which is just so slow and I hate it now uh, with comparison to this uh, uh, quad-core tablet for example let's open the CNN homepage which is very intense too and I will show you how fastly it does its job So yeah, here we can see the CNN. It's loaded already, loaded, and uh, you can like do this. And uh, by the way, about the typing, let's just press here. You can use the swipe if you want, if you want, and it's kind of handy. You can turn off it and just type like that, and it's very, very responsible. Uh, but about the about the browser, uh, there is one downside which I unfortunately don't like. Uh, let's take this old my Arnova. 
it's by the way between these tablets I know it's not uh, not fair to compare these because this one is like a gingerbread <laughs> uh, 2010 I think something like that and it's not just uh, fair to compare these but uh, I just want you to show some some uh, downsides about the integrated Google Chrome uh, default browser on uh, this tablet you have a standard Android browser which is which supports uh, Adobe Flash Reader but this doesn't uh, so I will just demonstrate you will go to the South Park the famous Noom cartoon site uh, that me just have problems here as you can see I'm here loading the South Park let's just go here to the South Park So, what I mean is that on this tablet you can't watch Adobe Flash Player videos, unfortunately, but you can't. Why? Google Chrome, I don't know why you did it, but you, I will demonstrate, as you can see here the video is loading, let's for example tap on this video, you can see here it, it's playing already, but here you just can't play, and for example it doesn't play, it just doesn't play. <laughs> I don't know why Google did this, but it's kind of the downside and I'm just a little disappointed because this uh, two-year-old uh, tablet does its job, but the newest quad-core doesn't. And for example, if I want to download Adobe Flash Player, it just said me, sorry, we can't do this, blah, 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 etc. Uh, a little bit downside of this, but... Uh, yeah. So, what else about it? The quick, I will show you quickly the Google Voice. What's the time now? The time is 1.55 p.m. What's the 2 plus 2? The answer is 4. So you can see the Google Voice, Google Now, whatever. It's very cool looking, uh, has natural voices. And uh, unfortunately, I can't show you the games, but assuming that it's Nvidia, Nvidia Tiger Free, you can look up for the different kind of videos on YouTube. But it just runs very, very smooth, uh, very different kinds of games, and yeah, we can't complain about it. But uh, about the video player, I can't unfortunately show you the videos. But uh, as I know that it doesn't support DivX and other files, but in Play Store. Uh, of course you can uh, download different kind of uh, players if you want for the videos and uh, yeah uh, cool thing about this 4.2 up that you have these uh, two uh, types of uh, of the notifications here we have the quick access uh, on the different kind of settings and you can add I think uh, what I want to show you is the NFC integration, which is Android is unique with it. It's one of the first devices that included the NFC. Uh, what it means that if you have like uh, if this Arcos or Nova had uh, NFC, but he doesn't have, uh, you just put these devices like this, and it, you can transfer fastly data. Uh, the same thing is about the Google Wallet. For example, if you go shopping and you want to like. Um, uh, it's a future task, but if, for example, if you're going to the like shopping and you, and you want something to buy, you just go and pay with your mobile device. But it's not available now, but I guess that it's uh, gonna, it's going to be available sometimes in the future. Uh, about applications, again, very smooth, no complaints about it. Uh, about the camera, you can shoot. There is no, there is no. Uh, primary applications for the shooting uh, which is one of the downsides but if you want to post some kind of uh, photos then you can go to, for example to Twitter and write a message and press the camera button and you can start uh, simply taking a pictures and stuff like that the same is about uh, for example the Instagram application mm, you just press uh, the the button to shoot uh, photos and you can shoot photos uh, one thing that I want to show you is about the Wi-Fi thing uh, here you can see my Wi-Fi is on I can turn it off oops 
just press something and yes uh, you can turn the Wi-Fi off as you can see the Wi-Fi is now off and here we have uh, Google Currents I'll just open it and voila it works without internet <laughs> uh, you can subscribe to different kinds of uh, news channels if you want and stuff like that for example let's go to the independent and voila you can read different kinds of articles even if the internet is not available it's very handy for example if you're in an area where you don't have wi-fi x uh, abilities and or for example 3g if you don't have if you don't have internet then it's very 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 good to have this thing which google felt about it so this tablet really is good for reading which i like so basically about this tablet uh, i just can't uh, say but it's very 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 good for its uh, standing price and uh, yeah i will definitely recommend you to buy this one and uh, thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions uh, be free to ask me in the comment section below uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day